In this demo, we'll walk through how to create a very simple pledge flow using user input fields and choices to collect users' information. We'll ask them to choose a pledge level and then thank them for their donation. In Salesforce Setup, you can access flows by clicking Create, Workflow and Approvals, and Flows. If you're using the Salesforce Lightning experience, click the Setup cog and use Quick Find to locate flows. Now we're going to click New Flow. From the palette, we're going to click and drag a screen element onto the main canvas. This will be our pledge form. First, we'll give it a name. Now we need to add our donation pitch. We'll do that using a display text field from the Add a Field tab. And we'll click it in the preview pane to configure it. We need to give the field a name. And in the text box, we'll put our donation plea. And then format it. Then we add the contact fields for our donors by adding a series of text boxes. We'll double click to edit the first text box. Let's make it our first name field and make it required. We'll repeat the same steps and add fields to capture last name, email address, street, city, state, and zip code. Next, we'll use a drop down list field to create a menu to let users select a donation type. We'll call it pledge level and set the data type to currency because the pledge levels are going to be dollar amounts. To populate the menu options, we will use choice elements. We can do that directly from this overlay by clicking the arrowhead in the choice settings section and then selecting create new, then choice. Our first pledge level will be a $40 amount. We'll change the data type to currency and set the stored value to 40 representing the dollar amount of the pledge. The choice field updated with our new basic membership option, but we can't have a drop-down menu with only one thing in it, so we'll click Add Choice and create two more. Now that we've created the fields we need, we can close this screen. After taking the user's information, we can set up a thank you screen to thank them for their pledge. Then connect it to the pledge form. Now when they're done filling out the form, users will see our thank you message. The flow is done, but before we can save, we need to set an element as the starting point. We do that by clicking the green circle in the corner of the pledge form node. Now we can save. Once you complete a flow, you can run it to see what it looks like in action. We're done with our basic flow, but there's certainly more we could do with it. For more information, see the following help topics. Visit Developer Force for the Visual Workflow Guide, or take the Automate Your Business Trail. And thanks for using Salesforce.